Hey everyone, you're watching Cinema Kick on Student Video Network, Channel 6, the University of Houston's student-run TV station. Today I'll be talking to director Jonathan Levine and actor Dave Franco for the new movie, Warm Bodies. Welcome to Houston. Thank Thanks for coming you. out. <laughs> yeah, go. we went to an awesome restaurant last night in Houston. Which one? Uh, it's called Provisions, something in Provisions. I should know this. It was really good. <laughs> Pass in Provisions. It was incredible. Have you been there? No, I haven't been oh, there. Okay, so but we can't really relate I'll try on it that, out. But definitely check it out. That's everyone. all we have. You ever stayed at the Four Seasons? <laughs> That's I, all. We have. <laughs> I have. I've been here once. So there you go. So now we have common common ground. <laughs> all <Go>. right. So <laughs> oh, that's great. Warm Bodies, zombie movie. Yes. So, oh, what zombies from other television shows or films inspired the zombies in this movie? Well, okay, so I like I wanted to look at other zombies and sort of take things from their zombiness and then sort of push it in a slightly new direction because we didn't want it to be kind of super cartoony like people had their arms half off or people had their faces. But, so we, we gave them wounds and stuff. Um, we took a lot of inspiration from obviously Night of the Living Dead and the original kind of zombie conceptions and then we incorporated a little bit of kind of new zombie stuff from Dawn of, from Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead, from Danny Boyle's 28 Days Later, um, and then we just sort of did kind of a little bit of our own thing. We had, um, we were filming up in Montreal and we had a guy who um, was a choreographer for Cirque du Soleil come and like work on movement with all our zombies and so we tried to kind of take it, you know, be like cognizant of the history of zombies and also try to push it in a slightly different direction. I wish I could introduce myself, but I don't remember my name. I think it started with an R, but that's all I have left. It's kind of a bummer. I shouldn't be so hard on myself. I mean, we're all dead. I read that you don't see this really as a zombie movie. What do you see this as? I see, well, it's, I see it as so many different things. I mean, I see it as first and foremost a movie about characters, you know, about, about you know, the, the, the great characters in the film and about people, um, and about how people handle, like, really bad situations, such as an apocalypse. Um, but I also see it as a romantic comedy, I see it as an adventure, I see it as so many different things and that's what I loved about the book when I saw the book to adapt it. It's like so many, so many different things that you kind of know already but it's, it, they all combine into something kind of unique. Yeah, even, you know, even if you take away the zombie elements, it's still this very cool, fresh uh, story about this, this coming of age, this, this kid coming of age yeah. and falling in love and it also happens to be very funny. It's got, Actors like Rob Corddry, who you know, he's hilarious, and uh, so, and then you add the zombie element in there, and it just makes it that much more interesting and cool. So you weren't, your character was not a zombie, right. um, and and it was a short amount of time that your character sure, was on screen. Sure, sure, fair. Perry was a very integral part of the story because of the connections between R and Julie. Oh, I'm glad so, you think so I do absolutely. Did you feel like you had to bring your all to make that connection happen, despite the short screen time? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta believe that these, um, you know, my character and Teresa's character are madly in love with each other in a very short amount of time, and um, it makes me think of the the very first day I was on set, my first scene. Um, was they, they pretty much, I, I just practically met Teresa and they said, all right, you guys are going to be in the car heavily making out and um, <laughs> we're going to have 100 crew members that you also just met watching you guys. So, something that, you know, obviously Teresa's, she's very, she's very sweet, she's very professional and beautiful, so it could have been worse, but it's, it's just something as an actor that you do have to cope with, you know, you're making out with a stranger in front of 100 strangers and go. So yeah, I felt like you guys did it all right. Yeah, no, 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 exactly. You know, but yeah, I can't imagine how weird that must be. Right. So speaking of uh, <laughs> those characters, um, R and Julie, it represents kind of a Romeo and Juliet type of thing. Sure. Do, do you think that any performer got any inspiration from like Shakespeare's work? I'm not sure Shakespeare really came into play all that much. <laughs> I mean, I would say like the the most kind of. You know, I, I don't think anyone needed to get inspiration from like outside sources. I think it was all like in the text that, that, that we had. I think the writer of the book got a lot of inspiration from classic literary things, whether it's Beauty and the Beast or, um, you know, obviously Romeo and Juliet. Um, you know, there's a lot of kind of amazing literary and even pop culture references that go into this movie. And I don't know, you know, from an actor's perspective, I don't know that that's how, uh, you know, they approach a character. I think when you approach a character, it's a, a, more on a, who is this person, you know, and, and, and less about kind of trying to incorporate all these different influences. That's more me, 
trying to like make sure all that stuff gets in there. Yeah. What was your favorite location to shoot in? Man. The lab scene was fun, huh? Yeah, we had that. Yeah, you know, that scene was really cool. Yeah, I mean that that scene was um, one of the only scenes where it felt like everyone in the cast was there, and so it's kind of fun just doing scenes like that where in between takes everyone's just hanging out and joking around. Um, and there's a lot of gun. There was like a lot of guns, and a lot stuff, of action, which I didn't. I didn't necessarily. Eat. Have you been? Well, I guess Twenty One Jump Street. There's a lot of guns. Right. But I like, wasn't shooting none. Huh? Yeah, but you weren't really around yeah. those guns. Like I, I've never like you know been around like, like explosions or you know it's not just guns. It's like little like sparks flying off guns and smoke and sure, yeah, super cool. Yeah, it's really loud though. Well, I really like the movie and congratulations on it. Good luck on all your future work. Thank you. So. We're seeing corpses fighting skeletons, sir. Because of a shoot. Shoot that. Hi. Huh? You're watching SVN. Go Cougs. Yep. What? Be sure to watch <laughs> Warm Bodies opens nationwide February 1st.